The content on this channel has been created for adults. If you're not at least 13 years of age or older, then please do not watch this content. Sorry, dude. Come back when you're 13. What's up, family? Welcome back to the channel. It's your homie, Faith Chase, aka Crossfit Cake and Chosen Effect, back in the deck, getting ready to wreck the set. And don't you forget, always a pleasure to be kicking it down a notch of all you beautiful people around the globe. Now, as promised, we're back with some more Up Church. I told you we'd be back with some more Up Church. We are now back with some more Up Church because he titled a video called I'm Moving. It caught my attention and I was going to watch this video and I was like, wait a minute, why watch it by myself when I can watch it with all my family out there? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to check it out and see where, what's going on with this I'm Moving. Like I, I said earlier in the last room, like, is he leaving Earth? Is he going to, you know, Mars, the Moon, the Jupiters? What's, what's going on? Where's he moving to? The middle of the freaking out back is he moving to freaking where's he moving what's going on what's what is he moving or is he moving is he moving his house his studio like what's going on let's check it out without further ado for me all you let's check out this video together and uh yeah let's see what's going on let's let's check it out let's go no, I'm just kidding, but for real. Listen to this shit. <laughs> we are gonna be he had a bit of some major. Did y'all see? He had a bit of a six pack there. Did y'all see that? I saw it. I saw it, church. I seen the little six pack action. He had a little six pack. Changes. And I have no idea why I'm talking in this really <laughs> deep voice right now. Probably because I have Trump hat on. So if you've noticed lately, church ain't been doing many, many, many street bike vlogs. Church ain't been doing no sea do vlogs. Church ain't been skateboarding. He ain't been playing Call of Duty lately. Wait, church skateboards? I've never seen him skateboard. Have I missed a video? I didn't know he skateboards. And he ain't put out no music video lately, bro. P.S. Brand new music video coming soon. <laughs> and new rap album coming soon. <laughs> and, oh. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we wanted to hear. New church coming out. Oh, yeah, let's go. Yeah, and new country album coming soon. Woo! Country you know and rap. Did you just put out Everlasting Country? Well, yes, I did. But guess what? Already made another one. Because that's how we do around here. We work our asses off. Hey. Fucking. But anyway, that's all behind the scenes shit. The reason why you haven't been seeing much activity from me, as you usually do on YouTube, is because I have purchased another house. Woo! Far away from Tennessee. Far away. I'm not gonna tell you where. It's a tank, right? Wait, but tell us. I am moving. Why you tell us? What? Don't be secretive. What state you moving to? What country? I want to know, man. Let's take a guess. I'm guessing. I'm guessing he's moving somewhere where, you know, Tennessee is already kind of chilled. Laid well, from my thoughts, anyways, a Tennessee, a more chilled country laid back you know environment and from the what i've seen of his crib around that area the way it seems to be on the videos is it's like laid back into itself so i think he might just want to change the scenery personally i think he might move to the city or somewhere you know maybe move to cali or somewhere you know as a change maybe move to florida you know be closer to the beach you know what i'm saying maybe a beach move that's what i'm thinking he might want a little beach action i don't know maybe he'll tell us someday let's go <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not moving because I dislike Tennessee. Of course I fucking not. love Tennessee. Of course Look at my does. shirt. Fucking, it's a tobacco barn. Fucking, with a Tennessee symbol. Fucking, and even though everybody thinks it's a Dragon Ball, it's not. It's a fucking tri star. <laughs> just flipped negative fucking. But Dragon Ball Z is pretty cool, but that's not why I got it. <laughs> it ain't because I'm annoyed. It ain't because I'm like, I'm a guy. I fucking hate my fucking pants. Oh my God, I'm moving. I'm leaving away. Blah, 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 blah. None of that. Oh yeah, I got a haircut. You can't really tell right now because I wear a hat 24-7. It looks like shit right now, but whatever. I got a haircut. I cut my hair back down to normal old upchurch height. And I know one of the first questions everybody's going to ask is going to be like, 
Why are you leaving Ghost Ranch? I'm not leaving Ghost He's Ranch. He's not leaving. He already I'm said it. I'm still going to own Ghost Ranch. It's got another I'm problem. I'm still going to come here and make videos sometimes. I'm still going to come here and go fishing. I'm still going to come here and fly through the fucking woods. I'm still going to come here and write music. I'm still going to come here and spend a night. I'm still going to do all that shit. I'm going to come back to this YouTube room sometimes, make videos in here. I'm going to be switching back and forth, back and forth. I just, for my mental health, I want to be in a more rural area. Ah. I want to be somewhere where there's nothing around. I want to be somewhere where you got to drive an hour away to fucking go to the store. I want to be somewhere where there's a lot of older motherfuckers that Okay, so that's interesting. So, okay, I thought he was already in a kind of really rural area. Just, again, I only have the videos to go by that I've seen and stuff like that. But... Okay, that makes sense to me. He, he wants to move to a more rural area. Dude, I feel you on that. Like, these days in particular, with this freaking stupid crazy thing that's going on around the globe. Yeah, being isolated and away from people is the smartest thing you can do to protect you and yours, without a shadow of a doubt. Hang around there, just kind of quiet, just do their own thing. I want a different change of scenery for yep. YouTube videos. change of scenery, as I said. Uh, for jet ski videos, for jet ski Harley riding beach. videos. I want to go explore and see new things with y'all that I haven't seen before in a place I've never even lived before in my yeah. life. Yeah. Uh, I think it'd be really cool because, you know, even though I love living here, how many times can I really do a street bike vlog or a Harley vlog or something? at a place y'all ain't seen before. Y'all y'all have seen all of Cheatham County. And this goes for music videos too. I want my music videos to look different. I want to be in different places, cooler, different sceneries and shit like that. That's partially why I am moving to blank. Oh, you thought I was gonna tell you. I did. I'm not. Uh. Now that I think about it, dude, it's honestly crazy. Think about this, dude. I've written, God, I don't know off the top of my head, but like 15 or 16 albums by myself. Hundreds of songs by myself in the same exact spot. What's music going to be like when I can go back and forth, mm -hmm. change my scenery, yep. be around different kind of people, yep. be around people that are fucking live nowhere near Nashville? Yeah. Like, the vibe's going to be cool. Plus, when I go there and miss my hometown buddies here, like Dudorf. Do you know how insane and how fucking anthem and how fucking timeless those songs are going to be when I come back to Ghost Ranch to write at Ghost Ranch? Bro, you're talking like brain of fucking music explosion. Yep. Is there still going to be security at Ghost Ranch? What do you think? <laughs> yep. Yes. Yeah, so don't try to go right before or tear my fields up. Yeah. And this is the thing, like, sometimes a, a change of scenery is so important and really good, especially in times like these where you're constantly just staring at the same walls and the same situations. I think a change of scenery is really definitely good for your mental health, as he said, you know, for his own mental health. I totally agree, man. Man, I told you, man. Up church is smart, dude. Keep doing you. Let's keep going. You hear me? And don't even think, well, Mr. Nigga over there, you know what I'm saying, when, when he's wherever else, and he, you, you know what I'm saying, we're going to smoke a blood in his house. You know what I'm saying? That'd be cool, bro. Yeah, that would be cool, but here's the not cool part. <laughs> I still have security here. Not only that, my crazy ass brother still lives here. <laughs> and guess what? He's still protecting my mom here. Oh, and guess what? My other crazy brother still lives here. Oh, yeah. They both love guns a lot. <laughs> so don't do that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, but what about your new house? You gonna have you gonna have security at your new house? What do you think? <laughs> Bruce Wayne security. <laughs> oh yes. Oh. Welcome to the Batcave. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna have the same exact security I have at my new place as I have here, which is some bad motherfuckers. I'm just saying. I'm just you know what I'm saying. I'm just saying. But. This is something that I've never done. Um, there's probably some people out there that are thinking about moving out of your home state. Uh, this will be something for you to watch, see how, see what happens to me in the process of doing it, how I feel. Um, it's gonna be good for my music. It's gonna be good for my fans, good for my YouTube videos, uh, good for my health. I, where I'm moving to, I don't have asthma there. Don't ask Ooh, me how, I, I have no idea. 
there where I'm moving, I can literally run a mile and be fine. Here, I run a mile and I'm fucking dying. Yeah. It's going to be a, a, a way better place for me to get in shape easier. That's good, man. That's a good point, man. I I had the same thing happen. Um, I was living, when I first moved to Australia from back, um, well, man, okay, actually, matter of fact, even when I was living in Japan, and even, okay, we'll go back to the States, right. but when I was living in the States, a lot of times, you know, you didn't have a choice in the situation when I was a kid, first of all, I didn't have a choice, I had to live where my parents said I had to live, but when I got older, and even when I first moved to Japan, I didn't have a choice in the matter because my dad, you know, a family, I was living my family, I was still a kid. And I remember when I first got there, I almost was going to be sent back to the States because apparently I had some allergies to Japan. Like, the, like I don't know what it was, something, I was super allergic and I, my eyes were just messed up. I had red bumps on my eyes or lids or something, and I was messed up. They said, your body is not responding to the air, like the air here or something I was super allergic to for a minute. But eventually, I got better. I, I must have got better. I stayed there for a long time. <laughs> but yeah, they thought I was going to have to leave. So anyways, sometimes you got to move. Like I was going to say, like here in Australia, when I first moved to Australia, and I was living down in Victoria, down in this area called Melbourne, and they have crazy mad hay fever down there, man. They got so much pollen in the air that when you watch the news, they'd be like literally saying, today's pollen count is 87% or 70%, like crazy numbers. The fact that they have to announce the pollen count in the weather is, it tells you, man. But then when I moved up north, the further north I went, the better my breathing got. And now that I'm up like here in Queensland, my breathing is so much better, dude. Like, because it's, you know, it's more of that north tropical kind of, you know, weather vibe, <laughs> whatever you call it. Anyways, let's keep going. Uh, because of, I guess, altitude difference, or I, I don't know why I don't have asthma there, but at first I was like, there's no way. So I kept going back and going back and going back and staying there a lot and never had to use my inhaler or anything. So I was like, yo, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> it's going to be better for uh, my health for tour, everything, get me in better shape for when I do go on tour. It's, it's just going to be all around, it's going to be better. It's going to be a journey for me, uh, a journey for you guys to watch. And if any of you guys out there are feeling homesick, it'll be a journey for you guys too. So Just quickly, I just want to say, you guys don't realize just how many people have asthma that you don't realize have asthma. Like, I mean, I have asthma. Um, you, you know, it's crazy how many people have it. You don't realize they have it. But when he was saying he used to run for a bit and then just freaking like feel like he was freaking dying and can't breathe, I've experienced that myself, dude. Like, you need that ventilator action, the ventilation, the vent ventilin, and then you've got your sarenti, like your preventative, all this kind of stuff that you're taking just to freaking, you know what I'm saying? I, I know exactly what he's saying. We'll go, we're going to see what's going to happen. We gonna see, and then the great part about it is, we'll always be able to come back here, boom, to Ghost Ranch, whenever we fucking feel like it. And at this new place, I have a surprise, so check this out. Oh. You know how like when you watch Infowars or something, and they got this humongous, badass fucking setup that looks like the most dopest fucking news channel ever? Well, guess what? What? You already know what I'm gonna say, don't you? Oh yes, when I get there, yeah. I'm having the guy who is building my Elvis Presley bathroom right now at Ghost Ranch, he is going to come to the new secret location. Elvis Presley bathroom? Oh, that's cool. Oh, man. Come on. Somewhere in the United States. And he's going to build me a badass fucking newsroom. And guess what? What? I'm letting you guys give suggestions on what this motherfucker should look like. That's dope. So we're gonna we're gonna build it together. That's Me, dope. you, and my boy JC Beals. Fuck it. So it's That's gonna dope. be the ultimate fucking YouTube setup. Yo. The ultimate YouTube setup. Redneck Nation is. Oh. That's a secret. I can't tell you yet. <laughs> but I'll tell you this: Redneck Nation is about to do something very fucking awesome, and I get to be a part of it. Yes, and I'm fucking excited. Nice. It's gonna be a badass newsroom. It's gonna be a badass YouTube room. It's going to be a badass podcast room. And Ooh. guess what? Here's the best part. It's in my garage. Oh, yeah. Big-ass L-shaped garage. 
on this side, all social media shit. On this side, it's already got a lift in it. Woo. It's already got room for the quads. Yo. Oh yeah, big motherfucking garage, Yo. bro. So I can actually learn to work on my own shit. Yo, that's dope. <laughs> that's dope. Dude, I just, I can't. It, it's all around great, dude. It's great for me. It's great for my relationship. Yeah. It's great for social media. It's, it's great for every day. It's great for everything, dude. I mean, dude, you guys give me an amazing life as it is. Uh, and I don't want to be that YouTuber that, you know, just does the same thing, 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 until no one cares. You know, and it's not, it, it's, it's not you guys' job to be like, hey, you're, you're not doing, you're not doing enough. That's my job. I'm supposed to know my fan base. And I know my fan base. I love you guys. I know, I, I'm, I'm with you guys all the time. I was with y'all the this past weekend, shotgunning motherfucking beers and shit. That was fucking awesome, by the way. So, I mean, in a sense, we're going forwards and we're going backwards at the same time. I want to go back to getting down to the nitty gritty with the supporters, finding out what you guys want, being a little fucking private investigator of my own and be like, so what do you want to see? I want to, I, I want to do the things like I did this past weekend where I just randomly rented a fucking beach house and was like, who want to play beer pong fucking? <laughs> and then I had some people come over, had the best time ever. We all sat cross-legged in a circle, smoked some fucking weed, and talked about the world and what the fuck's going on. It was, it was wonderful, dude. And this past weekend really made me realize where I want to go in the future with my YouTube channel, with my supporters and everything. And That's good. I want to get back down to the nitty gritty and do more stuff with fans like the beach house thing I did this past weekend. You know, I want to do a thing where maybe I take like 30 people on vacation to Gatlinburg at least once a year. I got a lot of people who like the motorcycle vlogs and the Can-Am vlogs and the jet ski vlogs. I want to do more of those, but I want to be excited about it too. So yeah. my new place, water all around fucking. Woo. We can do plenty of videos. I ain't never seen these places, neither of you. Endless fucking windy ass back roads that are perfect and got nice. the most coolest structures just spread out randomly in the woods been forgotten in time that would be badass for street bike vlogs endless motherfucking trails can-am baby can-am yeah can-am vlogs and i generally just i i want to i want to do what's next for my youtube channel man and to do that i gotta feel good you guys gotta feel good my team's gotta feel good everybody's gotta feel good Especially in a fucking world we're living in now, it's so fucked up, bro. Yeah. I'm just trying to bring the vibes, bro. Just trying to bring the vibes. So that's what's going on in my life. Just wanted to pop in and let y'all know what's going on. And um, I'm looking forward to everything that's about to come. But anyway, Skins, I'm glad I got that off my chest. I'm glad I told y'all that. I've been wanting to tell y'all for like a freaking week. I was like, man, they're going to be mad because I'm leaving Tennessee, but I ain't really leaving Tennessee, so I don't think they'll be mad. Nah, damn, man. But also, I got two announcements, very important announcements. This Friday, the Holler Boy documentary will be for sale on DVD at hollerboymovie.com. I know a lot of y'all couldn't figure out how to watch it. Bro, it, it was difficult sounding. I'm with you on that, but bro, DVD, pop it in. Let it roll, baby. And my second big announcement, I am... Okay, I... have I'd be trying to figure out how to play it on DVD. Like, I'm just saying, dude, I ain't had a DVD player in how long, man? Like, I don't know. I don't know anybody who, um, yeah, man, who who doesn't stream what they want to see these days, personally. But, I mean, I guess there's still people out there with DVDs. Obviously, there's a market for it. But, yeah, if I only had DVD as an option for anything right now, I'd be screwed. I don't, I don't. I don't have a DVD, dude. I I, I can't. I don't even remember. What does DVD look like? Is it square? Is it circle? Is it triangle? I'm just joking. I know what they look like, but yeah, I ain't had one in a minute. You know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. Let's go. I'm really fucking happy to tell y'all this. My first show back since all this coronavirus shit. November 6th. November 6th. Taylorsville, Illinois. Okay. Up Church and Aaron motherfucking Lewis. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. And if you think I ain't finna get off stage and get drunk and get in the crowd with y'all while Aaron Lewis is sitting over there, I grew up down an old dirt road in a town you wouldn't know. Bro, I'm gonna be double Woo. fisting tall boys fucking right there beside you, boy. So those are two things I'm really looking forward to. And hey. bonus announcement. Bonus. I got a brand new song and a music video coming out with a country legend. We knock 
working shit out over here. Hey, bro. let's go. See y'all later. I love you, kids. That's what I'm talking about. Yo, so this has been a really good video. Very informative. The title says moving, but we learned other things that he's got some dope new music coming out. And I know a lot of people that can't wait to see what Church does next. He freaking spilled the beans on a new album, new freaking. He's got new country albums, he's got new rap albums. He's got all kinds of stuff coming, dude. And he's got that documentary thing he just did as well. There's a lot of stuff happening in the Upchurch world. So for all you Upchurch fans, I'm sure you're excited. And since a lot of Upchurch fans are on my channel right here, I know for a fact that we're going to freaking be covering all that new music, you know, when it drops. I'm looking forward to it. So, anyways, guys, I appreciate and love each and every one of you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this with me because I really wanted to see this. I wanted to know what was going on. You know what I mean? It's always just good to kind of touch base every once in a while and see what's going on with the church, man. You know what I mean? Because you all know that church be like I say, just be freaking, just keeping it real. You already know he's going to tell you exactly what he's doing. You know? So that's cool. I liked it. I enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. As always, remember what you're wonderful is keep it off tap. We out. Yeah.